This state championship match wrap is presented by Delights Ice Cream, specializing in diet foods and desserts. Real ice cream with only two carbs and 50 calories. Check out their locations in South Austin and in North Richland Hills in the Metroplex. Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that red subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great local sports coverage that TV and radio refuse to cover. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Five A Girls State Championship match: Dripping Springs taking on Frisco Wakeland with a chance at history and storylines galore. Not only would it be the Tigers' first ever title in girls soccer, sophomore goalkeeper Caroline Dill could become the first girls goalkeeper ever to shut out all seven playoff opponents, and Dripping Springs would join 1999 Colleyville Heritage as the only girls teams to not allow a goal in a playoff match. Heritage, though, only played six matches that year after having a first round bye. The Wolverines were. 5-0 all-time in the semis and finals and sought their third title. 30 years ago, San Antonio Madison won the first girls soccer title in San Antonio history, which featured Sarah Davis on the roster. Her daughter Avery with a chance to lead Dripping Springs to the title. The weather was foggy and the Tigers were lost in the fog until Riley Sisson made a state championship changing play. Let's check out all the action from Georgetown presented by Delights Ice Cream. We think about just us and getting and getting what we deserve. We're good at being scored against and coming back and really um, working hard. And we have an amazing defense and amazing goalie, so they all just worked hard for it. We have to keep building each other up, and that's what we did. We didn't get down on each other, and uh, every goal is going to have one goal scored on her. And she's an exceptional goalie, and we would have. It would have been a completely different game without her. The first half was dominated by the Wolverines. They broke up Dill's shutout streak, but missed on three point blank chances to score and could have been up 4 0. Then sophomore Riley Sisson made a play right before recess that changed the course of the 5 A gold medal match. Her goal tied up the match at one at recess and the momentum was on the side of the team from Hayes County. Honestly didn't see the goal and I was just working and trying to get a shot off and it went in so here we are. The other team was very good and they kept working but I think that that goal kind of shifted momentum towards us and that's when we really started to put the pressure on them. It was an amazing goal by Riley. She definitely 
deserve that goal. She worked so hard for it, and it was an amazing shot. It just like completely changed our whole energy because right after we got scored on, you know, I saw people's heads were down, especially the younger girls who've never even played in a playoff game, much less state like ever before this year. People were getting down, and we were yelling at each other. And then Sisson had that beautiful shot into the left corner, and I and then it reversed, and then we had all the momentum, and then they, and then they started putting their heads down. Hope and drive that we needed coming out into the second half. Freshman Lainey Kalsu and Taylor Hodsden were not afraid of making big plays on the big stage. Kalsu did it on defense, and Hodsden did it on offense. It was just a matter of keeping calm and keeping our energy up. When, when they started panicking, we kept our cool and we just were able to pull it off. Hodgson's goal made it 2-1 Tigers in the 47th minute and Caroline Dill went to work and left the Wolverines in a pickle. after we got the second one and we, it was just a matter of keeping calm and keeping our energy up when, when they started panicking we kept our cool and we just were able to pull it off. Text your friends Dripping Springs is a state champion. <laughs> Two one Tigers come from behind to win their first girls soccer title and the first for Austin since 2017. The win really puts us up there I think it really shows like we deserved it. Um, it shows. It really reflects like how we play. Ever since I've been a freshman in this program, it's grown every year and every year and every year. And same with all the other Austin schools. And I think we're catching up. And this is one of the first years in a long time that an Austin school is one state. It's usually Dallas. Caroline Dill, the sophomore keeper, didn't make history as the first girls keeper in UIL history to shut out all seven playoff opponents. Her consolation prizes were the match MVP and a gold medal. Big shout out to my defense. They literally are amazing and killed it. And it's really sad we're gonna miss Riley Flores next year because she's going off to AM. But a big shout out to them for helping me hold that wall. By the way, her playoff shutout streak ended at 512 minutes. 512 also happens to be the area code that Dripping Springs is located in. It was the first ever semifinals or finals loss for Wakeland girls in soccer. While most of the core will be back in 2022, several seniors, including Avery Davis, will graduate. Davis joined her mother Sarah as state champions 30 years after she won it with San Antonio Madison twice. It's amazing. I don't even I don't know if anybody else can say that, you know, like hardly anybody can say that they won state and their mom won state and be, to be able to share those memories with her and to be able to relate to those feelings and I mean it's just an indescribable feeling and so special for both of us to be able to have that together. Promotional consideration provided by 
Altitude Trampoline Park. A proud supporter of area high school sports. Visit their location on the south side of Austin or www.altitudeaustin.com. Reporting from Georgetown, I'm Greg Sherman. Every Austin team is working hard to get here, and I, I know that you'll see us next year.